Ecclesiastes. You can you can you can come up with all of the pursuits that you can consider money, sex, art, work, rest, whatever it is. Vanity, vanity, all is vanity. Then everybody goes to the same place, die, and then you're forgotten about. Thankfully, Ecclesiastes doesn't end there because that would be pretty much a bummer. Ecclesiastes 12, 13, and 14. So what's the bottom line? Do things for the Lord. What Paul McCartney wrote, blackbird singing in the dead of night. Worthless. It's worthless. And people liked it. They sang along with it, whatever it meant. Do we know what that song meant? Did I just sing a devil song? I hope not. No, when I think was it, was, the it might have been about lynching. What? Or something You're about that civil up. rights. Is that right? Or he could have been right. stoned out of his Go garden. On. He was wa- talking about blackbirds. That's Lucy in the sky with diamonds, don't you know? <laughs> At any rate, whatever you put your hand to, it's going to just melt. It's going to be burned up unless you're doing it for the Lord. Then it has eternal value. What a bummer to spend one's life toiling and laboring. Ultimately, I think most, maybe not everybody, but most people come to the realization this is it. This, uh, I've got all this and I'm miserable. I'm not happy. I'm not content. I'm lying on my deathbed going, uh oh, this ain't good. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his Beatles catalog? I don't think that's how the verse went, but the point is who cares? Stuff's all going away. Can I, could I possibly, let's see if I can, give a testimony that glorifies God? Because sometimes we can, it's kind of like a humble brag. Hey, I just want to tell you what God is doing in my life. I'm making a fortune. <laughs> God's doing that in my life. Okay. Hey, you know what? I haven't, I haven't been mean to the kids now in six months. I mean, all credit to God, of course. Yeah. So let's, let's try to find the line here for a moment. This, 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 just in case you were ever confused about this, the voice that you are currently hearing, so worldly. Oh, man. The, world's, the world is one thing. The pen that I hold in my hand, it's a, a product of the world. The world system is, well, let's use this pen for nefarious ends, or let's worship the pen. It's it's a it's a godless worldview built on lies, lies. It's always built on lies. It never delivers. It always exaggerates. It always undersells. Never tells the truth. That's the world system. And wow, was I in it? Cause I love stuff. The first house that I bought was just a just small house, but it had been complete. It was, it was a Reno deal. And this is back in 19, well, I, th- I think Duran Duran was on, give or whatever it was. And I, and I bought, bought this house, and everything on the inside was new. And because I loved the world system so much, I love stuff so much, I didn't want it to get unnew. And so they, they had really nice carpet. The guys that did, I think it was two brothers that did this. You know, they bought remnant because the place was pretty small. So they bought some really nice remnants, maybe from Seasteads. The point is... They bought some remnant, and it was really plush. So to get from the front door to the back of the house, to the kitchen, the dining area, and 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 and, and then the bedroom. There were two bedrooms and a, and a bathroom. You had to walk on that carpet, and and I didn't want the carpet to get crushed down or worn out, because it was my carpet. It was wonderfully magnificent amazing so if i would come through the front door and usually i would make the effort to go through the back door so i wouldn't have to walk on carpet which i am not certain i didn't do a lot of research on this i think that's the very reason for its existence is to be walked on (laughs) if i'd come through the front door i take off my shoes and either walk on my tiptoes or heels because that would put less foot down on the Oh, okay, God. are you getting the idea God. here? It put extra of what pressure I, on the points that you were actually stepping on, so you were just wearing out those. I considered spots that, Joey. I did. I did consider that. Wow, are you OCD too? Nevertheless, wow. I went with the tiptoe heel method. Didn't like to sit on furniture because that would make it wear out. That that's a lover of stuff. 
That is stuff owning me. It owned me lock, stock, and barrel. Now, here's the testimony because there's there's no way I would have changed this. God saved me, and I kid you not, when I see a carpet that gets worn out, and, and, and with three kids and a dog who's kind of gimpy right now and throwing up all over the place, when, I, when we, the carpet gets worn out looking, I like it more because now I see it as being used for the purpose in which it was a, intended to serve us, to be walked on, to be a chair that gets all... I like the chair. Okay, like the chair that I'm sitting on right now, it's basically, this is like a ginger who went to Hawaii in July, and now it's, it's about a week later. It's shedding all over the... It's the, it's cheap leather, faux leather stuff, vinyl, I guess, and it's just all over the place. And I look at this old chair, and this would have horrified me before God saved me. Now, cool, wearing out a chair, because that's the way it's supposed to be. That is purely a work of God. That is purely his work. When we take a look and consider anything in the sanctification process, you've got to give credit to God for it. Nothing that you do. Not, now, you work along with it, but it's all credit to God. That is a magnificent work. I do believe we talked about this yesterday, this low view of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you know, no, Holy Spirit, because they don't use the, because it's kind of an intimate sort of icky relationship that a lot of people have with so Holy his first Spirit. Name is holy. You know, Holy Spirit. He just he just he just talks to me. He, yeah, that's right. His first name is Holy exactly. <laughs> I'm waiting for somebody to catch on to Paraclete. And then and then that'll be a trend inside of the NAR movement. They're, they're pu- paltry things. You mean the Holy Spirit has the power to Make it appear like somebody's leg is getting longer? That doesn't seem very magnificent to me. It seems to me taking a guy who was so worldly that he wouldn't walk on carpet for fear of wearing it out or even smooshing it down. Sometimes after I'd walk on it, I'd go back with the vacuum cleaner just to get rid of the footprints. Yeah, and and then again, Joey, before you bring it up, I'd actually be concerned, well, maybe I'm, you know, I'm getting rid of too much of the nap by vacuuming. And God changed all that. This is Not Sequitur Wretched Radio. Don't forget, if you would like to hear the entire daily broadcast, simply visit wretched.org, go to iTunes, figure out your favorite Android listening platform, and you can listen to the entire program every single day, downloaded to your listening device for free. Well, thanks to our monthly supporters called the Gospel Partners, If you'd like to partner with us, we'd be very, very grateful. Simply visit wretched.org.